Hey everybody, this is Vax Incendiary. Welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Gladius. Last time, we found out that the Chitan have been playing us for suckers. Because that's kind of what they do. And by the Chitan, I mean the Deceiver himself. So at least we were getting made a fool of by, by the best. Um, but now it's time to teach him the error of his ways, by which I mean blow up his army and steal his toys. That's not what I wanted to click there. Oh well. Um, and then can you take him out? Yes, good. Alright, so obviously we need to finish these guys off, and then we need to find the Vol control device, which I think is right here. I think that's exactly what that's highlighting. D go away. Um, not that we... Um, I mean, we... <laughs> What am I trying to say? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to say, but so yeah, we need to we need to capture that, and then I'm pretty sure we basically get to um, turn it on and let the fireworks fly and let the let the good times roll. And by good times, I mean death, much death, which is sort of you know part of the course for the deck rounds, of course. But um. We are going to take a little bit of a hiatus on producing stuff just because we are already we're already at negative fifteen ore production. That's that's a lot. I would yes, I want to get more stuff because we still probably don't have enough to actually like win at this point, but we we have enough to um to finish this off certainly. And if that immediately sets stuff going, well, then we'll just deal with it when we have to. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones you get to turn on. Boom, boom. And you, and you can finish them off. Awesome. Alright, so let's grab this also. That is a good... Th get a little bit more health on everybody. Um, just have you heal. I guess you guys are, um, you guys are summoned, so let's just have you run over there. Grab that. Yep. Eh. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, we are going to blow up everything on the planet... Mostly because that will also blow up the Chitan. I feel like we may be getting into some um, salted earth territory, but who am I to who am I to judge the Necrons? Um, so I think we want. So we actually have to turn that on. So yeah, I think we're gonna try and get you over to here, like get in the middle of our three cities. That's probably the best. Actually, the best place might be a little closer to here between these two in specific because then but still mostly between three of them because obviously that's going to be what they're going to go for um all right um let's we need more ore we need more of that ore we also need more <laughs> health and a lot of other things but at the moment ore ore is what we need Alright. Will anyone show up to try and like stop me from getting this victory? I wouldn't actually hate that, especially because oh wow, we've got a lot of Oh, let's get uh efficient reanimation. That's that's good. That is a very good thing to have. I'm surprised I didn't already get that. Just one of the many questionable decisions I made in the last couple episodes. Ooh, I'm watching back on those rants and I'm like, wow, I am full of it. I mean, it's kind of how I talk, to be fair. It's less that, oh, this is exactly how it is and more, this is how I remember it. But then I don't necessarily, I don't say that. I don't say, say this is how I remember it. I say it like that's how it is. So I apologize to anyone who is just like clawing their ears out at me like, you know, about, like, how I pronounced anyone's name or whatever. 
Uh, hold position. Or my, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Back to the game. Let's focus on this game. Let's focus on the here and now. I'm much less likely to make a buffoon of myself. I'm, I'm perfectly capable of making an idiot of myself, but, you know, making mistakes rather, but they're mistakes anyone could make. Not just buffoonishly shouting, oh yeah, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we had another... Huh. Interesting. I'm not sure that that would... I'm not quite sure how that would happen. How two dynasties would get on a world as a tomb world without, like, knowing about each other. Like, I could be absolutely wrong, and that, that could happen. I just, I'm not quite sure the logistics of that. Because they would both have to have already been here. So yeah, I don't, I don't get how that, that would have happened. Maybe, maybe some, some person in the comment can point out how that happened in, in a way that doesn't make me feel like an idiot. Speaking of making me feel like an idiot, yes, they're Castellans. I have been calling them Castellians. I apologize. I've also been calling them Castellians for about 120 episodes, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, um, let's grab that. Uh, sure, let's get better. Let's get Destroyer Lord, actually. Let's get the, that going. Doom of the Flailer. Destroyer Lord. Oh, one correction. Um, I might make in the comments, but I didn't make in the video, even though I corrected a lot of the other weird bullshit I said. Um... There aren't rules for a Flayed Lord in the tabletop. However, there is a Flayed Lord in the strategy game Mechanicus. Which is sort of a... Um, it's, a it's a tactics game with um, the Mechanicus versus the Necrons. And yeah, there is, there is a, a Necron Lord who is a Flayed One in that. And there are Necron Flayed Lords in the canon as well. But yeah, there are no rules for them. As far as I know, I could very much still be wrong. Um, what do I want? What do I want? Um, I mean, more... Energy's actually doing really fine. Um, can I get any more bonus? Actually, let me get... Let's get some bonus, um... Population's alright. So let's get bonus, ooh, uh, loyalty. And we can continue to have you get us more influence, because influence is good. And influence will be very good during our last dash, when we are going to need to... Why did it want me to go here? Yeah, but during the last defense, when we may need to just say, you know what, no, I actually do have um, a bunch of guys defending this. Here, have a couple... Um, have a couple of those guys. Um, Let's see, That's that affects... That does affect Doomsday Arc, so that would be bad. Necrodermic Blades may be less useful. Um, population limit would be terrible. Tr Transcendent Chaton. I don't think I'm going to be going for them. Um, Goss Pylons might be kind of nice. I think, yes, I think I'm going to get... I'm going to research myself up to the Goss pylons and, and build some of those, and then we will, um, and then we'll call it, we'll activate the end game. And if someone wants to, like, disrupt us before then, well then, that's their prerogative. Um, let's, yeah, I mean, basically, let's just have everyone don't really need anyone to do anything right now. Uh, you can get a little bit closer. Uh, you can go like over here where you'll be useful. 
But yeah, mostly. Once again, we're getting to the end, and we have been blessed with enemies who don't feel like actually attacking us. Although, evidently, they're fighting amongst themselves. So. Okay, so, yeah, let's have you get... Look at you right over here. And then you can just stay there until we're ready for you. Alright. Um, boom, boom, boom. Man, that's pretty much every... Oh, uh, no. Let's get you... Yeah, let's get you over there. Alright. Um, you... Uh, get me better research. I mean, we might as well crank this for all we all it's worth. Although we should also probably get some loyalty on that city. Um, speaking of cranking it for, or, or you know, getting everything we can out of something, definitely getting more um, influence. It's a shame we can't, um, I mean, obviously each, each faction needs to have their own unique thing, but, um, it's a shame we can't use that to buy, um, actually, let's buy some items. Got a seven and a ten. Yeah, let's, let's see what's, what, what looks worthwhile. Um, and the monolith can also just stay where he is. All right, you get us... Uh, get yourself some... Hold on. Um, oh boy, we are... Well, this is a well-planned out city. Whoops. Not that I have a whole... Ha Not that you have a whole lot of choices, the Necrons, but still. I wonder how... Oh, hello. Now we've got rival AIs. How are you... And then this is another thing that they do for the um, the plus mod. Um, these guys are a lot higher. Like, I think... So these guys are on... I think they're on... Yeah, they're on this tile. Even though they... they so, they, so they look like they're higher, which makes a lot of sense. Okay, so do we just press it now? Do we push the button? Well... I think I'm going to still try and, um, uh, what do we want? Tesla weapons would be nice. Let's get unearthed cities. So these are, those are doom sides, which are not what I start off with. Yeah, I start off with the night, si night sides. Um. Let's see. What can you get in here? I'm going to get you... Actually, yeah, we're going to make you just, like, completely blasted unkillable. We're going to get you that. We're going to get you, um... Higher healing. We're going to get you... Better armor and damage penetration. Um... Gauntlet. Uh, more movement wouldn't be completely terrible, but... I think we'll call that for you, and then we'll also give you... We'll give you that temporary shield, and then you can have that adamantium weave and two lightning gauntlets, because why not? Um... <laughs> we've got our own storm load over here. Alright, well, let's see what they do, because if they're... What else... Do we want? Let's grab this over here. And let's start producing more monoliths. We're not gonna we're not going to speed those up, but we are gonna start producing them. Um get me more actually no, get me some loyalty that will be worth more research at this point. 
All right, well, they're fighting something. Hmm. All right, so now all those have activated and we've lost... I think we lost a couple things. Um... Do we activate it? I think we activate it. I think we, um... Well, I guess if they... Mm -hmm. Hemming and hawing. Let's have you guys go up here. Um, you can also go up there. You're not going to be able to melee them from down there, but that's alright. Uh, let's have you go for... It does give more energy and more loyalty. Sure, we'll get one more of that. We will get... <laughs> just either of these get me some loyalty. And you can get me... Give you... Activate a... Activate the Royal Pyramid. No, you'll go for a Nameless Cosplay. You will also give me... Because that, that will also give me some um, influence. Not that that's like a crazy good city for influence or anything, but, you know. Alright, well, if they're not going to come in, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to fire the first shot here. Even though, really, they already stole my mobile hollow projector, so... Um... With you... Get me more of that. Actually, no. Get me... Yeah, we actually need a... Um, get me the Slave Mastaba, and we can use Rapid Rise on that. A good use of resources there. Okay. Yeah, I, apparently they just wanted to steal that one hollow projector and then they were good. Um, let's also get over... We'll put this one. This was our, our least useful tile. And we'll get some loyalty on him. Let's see. Yep, and... We got another monolith. I mean, if we can do nothing except for for make our enemies wade through endless streams of these things, you, you know, that's a strategy. Um, although we we need to get that will work again. More or always more or um. Let's see, let's grab this and... Well, actually, wait, we can get... Yeah, we can get some more ore with this. We'll just take advantage of all the research producers, but... No reason not to get take advantage of the ore as well. Excuse me. All right. So now we have that little bit of extra space. Um, let's see, better production of those. Removes the action and movement cost of dimensional corridor. Actually, yes, that will be quite nice. Since we can, yeah, that will be, that will be good. Um, but again, just sort of letting this go for right now. Um, Yeah, whatever. We'll just... Again, more ore. Everything should be going for ore, especially because we've somehow managed to get to negative 20 now. I didn't realize we were quite that bad, but don't... We don't need night sides. Um, you... Get you, get me loyalty. And in fact, get me loyalty immediately. 
you can spend the uh, influence on that. I feel like it's worth it. Um, but actually, something concurred to me is that um, you know it's only infantry that can uh, teleport, so we should get some more infantry going. We'll get some immortals ready to produce. Again, let's get this up into the positives. Alright. Um. Yep, yeah, that's a 40. Might as well take advantage of it. What's its will at? Loyalty at that? That's that's pretty good. But um, we're coming to the end of this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Vox Insanity. If you enjoyed the series, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps out a great deal. Tips, tricks, suggestions are always welcome. Uh, any hints or constructive criticism, I'm always happy to hear that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.